it really reminds me when Callum and I, uh, we wrote a book called Agglomerate, which was called From Idea to IPO in 12 Months. And we wrote this back in 2016 when we took uh, a company public and we listed it on NASDAQ. And, uh, and we were, um, you know, filling out all, all of the listing application and the listing documents. And NASDAQ's, one of their points of feedback was um, you need to have more non-executive directors on your board. Um, and we said, OK, well, what's the criteria for a non-executive director? And they said, well, they have to have been on a public company board before. And so you then start to look around for a list of people that have been on public companies before. And you find, you know, uh, a, a, a group of very similar backgrounded people um, uh, that, you know, and it's important. Some of these people are on the boards of 50 companies. I mean, what value are they possibly going to bring? Um, you know, when they're when they're you know spread across uh, fifty different companies, and they all went to the same sort of school and have the same kind of look and the same kind of accent, <laughs> and, um, and there wasn't there, there was just no diversity whatsoever. And so this idea um, to be able to get more diversity into boards and to open up uh, boards to um, new ideas and different thinking and, and get away from that kind of staid old way of doing things, I think is just an, an absolutely fantastic idea because how do you get board, you know, board public experience if you can't be on a public company? It, it's a catch-22. So the opportunity to get people in at an apprentice level and then uh, and get that on your CV or resume um, to take forwards, I think is uh, yeah, just a, a fantastic thing to uh, a fantastic thing to do. So. Um,